In a previous video, I modeled this toilet paper roll, and I decided I'd continue with that theme, and I'm going to model the toilet. And maybe after that, we'll do some more of the bathroom uh, components. So here I am in the same file, and I'm just going to go up to another layer here. And from the top view, I'm going to start modeling the toilet. So I'm going to go Shift A, and I'm going to add a circle. I'm going to go into edit mode and switch to vertex and I'm going to scale this just a little bit in the X not a perfect circle but just something like that all right now I'm going to hit E to extrude and I'm going to pull it down like this I'm going to scale this in a little bit like that and uh, I think I'll go ahead and um, select this edge to, I'll put a face on this, just scale it a little bit more. And now I'm going to bevel control B. I'm going to pull up quite a bit, round it out nicely. And then I'm going to shift alt and click this edge. And I'm going to pull it down a little bit. It doesn't have to be that tall. All right. And then in face selection, I'm going to grab this face and I'm going to uh, pull it down and scale it a bit like that. Try scaling it a little bit more. Okay, so there's front view. I'm going to go Control One for the back view. Deselect that, and I'm in face selection. I'm going to hit C, and I'm going to paint select that, and another one on that side. Oops, let's get rid of those for a moment. Another one on that side, and I think I do want one more there, and one more there. Just, just that. All right, so now from the side, control three to go to that side, I'm gonna pull this out a ways, just like that. Okay, let's have a look at that. That might be a rather big toilet. I'm gonna select that bottom face, and I'm gonna hit E to extrude, and I'm gonna scale in the X. Nice distance, scale in the Y, and try to get it kind of equal something like that and then E to extrude I'm gonna pull it down a ways and I'm gonna come back in in edge selection and I'm gonna grab this edge shift alt and click that edge all the way around I'm gonna go control B pull up and I'm gonna bevel that with a few edges in there and I'm gonna come up here and I think I'm actually gonna hit F to make a face hit I to inset come in E to extrude and pull down a ways. It doesn't have to go very far because it's going to be covered up. No one's going to see the inside. I'm going to go control R and put an edge ring down here. I'll need that later when I do a subdivision surface on. And I think this part's going to be covered but not being totally sure. I think I'll go ahead and I'll bevel that anyhow. That'll help with the subdivision surface anyhow. So I'll do that. And uh, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out with the sub D, but I'll, I'll bevel it and we'll see what we need uh, here. Um, let's hit one and come to the front view and face selection. I'm going to grab these two faces and uh, maybe these two and these these two. All right, so I'll just go to three to the I'm control three to the side like that, and I'm going to pull them out. But I'm going to put on. Um, proportional editing enable that and I'll just use sphere and I'll just I'm gonna start to pull and I'll see how big my circle is I'm gonna roll my mouse wheel up so I get a smaller circle and just do something like this and uh, I think we'll go a bit more like that okay just to give it a little bit of, uh, of interest let's go back into object mode have a look at this and then I'll uh, I might need to shorten it a bit too. Let's put on subdivision surface of two and smoothing. And this is what I've got so far. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back into edit mode and put an edge loop down here, not too tight. And look at that. And uh, oh yeah, we'll definitely have to put an edge loop down here. We'll just see if we're coming along. I might want to pull that front out a little bit more. I think what I'll do is I'll go into uh, that side view again 
and um, wireframe and vertex selection. Um, is that what I want to do? Actually, not wireframe, solid and face selection. I'll grab that bottom face and I'm going to select uh, up further. So I'm going to go Control Plus a few times till I get to to there, actually to there. And I'm going to go ahead and go scale in the Y. I'll turn off proportional editing first. Then I'll go scale in the Y and I'll pull this out like that. But then I'm going to pull this one in a little bit. I think I am. Actually, let's go back to object mode and have a look. It's not too bad if I wanted to put bolts in. All right, well, I might leave it like that for the moment. Except maybe I'll make it a bit shorter. So I'm just go in front view, edit, deselect that, vertex and wireframe, and box select all that. I'm just going to pull it down a little ways. And we'll have another look. Let's go ahead and do origin of geometry and hit save. Okay, so now let's make the, the top part. So I'm going to edit mode and the edge selection. I want to select this ring going around and I'm going to use this to make the top part. So I'm just going to borrow that ring. So I'm going to go shift D to duplicate it and P and enter to make it a new object. So I can select the toilet bowl or there. I've got that selected. Origin of geometry. I can now move this independently and I'm going to use this so um, now it's got a subdivision surface that's fine uh, let's go into edit mode and select it and F to make a face E to extrude and I'm going to pull down my polys will be flipped and that's not going to be the position for it so I'm just going to pull it up a ways uh, what we'll do is we'll go into edit mode and we'll select it and control N, do I have it selected? There it's selected now. Control N to flip polys. And let's put in some edge loops up near the top, down near the bottom, like that. Uh, the top's messed up, I know, but let's just have a quick look. Uh, we're gonna scale this, make it a little bit bigger so it sort of seems to be to fit over. Uh, so let's select it all in the top view. Um, let's uh, Let's go into wireframe and let's go scale in the Y. Pull it like this. Scale in the X. Pull it like this. Okay. I'm going to bring it a little bit forward. I'm going to scale in the Y again. I'm going to hold down shift so it doesn't do it as much. Possibly pull it forward a little bit. Let's have a quick look at that in terms of the fitting. Let's go ahead and put smoothing on. Do I have smoothing on for this one as well? I think I do. All right, and so I might pull this back a little bit. More like that. Okay, so that would be like that. Let's go ahead and fix up this. Um, let's hit face and just inset a little bit. And that should take care of that. Let's save and um, I'm just thinking I might want to, now that I think about it, put an edge loop in here and slide it over to there. We'll see what that looks like. I'll slide it over there. As you see, I'm not going right to the ends, just to give a bit more definition to that. Um, that end, I could try an edge loop here, just not too much. Almost exactly where it drops it off. And I'll see if I want to move that at all. I'm going to stick with that for now. I'm just looking at this corner here, wondering if I want to try. Try anything funny. I might select that and select this and see if I bevel this, will it improve or take away from? That wasn't much of a beveling. From it. Do I like that effect? I don't think I'm going to go for that right now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's just carry on. Um, 
I've got my 3D cursor up there. Let's go Shift S cursor to select it now. Let's bring in another circle. I'm going to make the, the lid for this. That, uh, the top part. Uh, let's go into edit mode and let's scale this in the axe a little bit so that it was sort of just fit on top there. Move it a bit and scale it in the axe a bit more like that. Uh, let's go F to make face, E to extrude, same deal. I may or may not but do a subdivision surface on this. Let's grab the top and the bottom and control B. Let's bevel this nicely like that. And let's just drop it on there. Let's go ahead and hit smoothing. Um, move it a bit forward. And pull it down a bit more. I'm not deleting faces as I could be, I suppose. Let's leave it like that for the moment. Let's go ahead and work on the, the, the tub part. Um, no, let's bring the cursor there. Shift A, cursor selected. Or Shift S, cursor selected. Uh, Shift A, bring in a cube. Let's move it back to about there. And up. Okay, let's go to edit mode. And let's uh, scale this in the X, first of all, about like that. We'll, um, we'll grab the back face. I'll push it in to about there. And maybe the top and bring it down a bit. Let's go ahead and grab this bottom face and scale this in the X to taper it like that. There's lots of different styles of toilets, so different sizes. You know, I don't know, maybe that's a little bit short now for this the size of this. Well, let's um, switch over to edge selection and shift alt and click uh, these edges on the sides and go control B and pull back and give it quite a nice bunch of segments for rounding shift alt and click the bottom there and control B and bevel that and then I'm going to put an edge loop somewhere near the top to make the lid I'll go to about there and I'm going to go in face selection shift alt and click that whole row there and go E to extrude scale shift Z or S shift Z. I better look down here because it never scales equally. That might be too much actually in the X so scale in the X bring it in again like that. That's pretty equal right there actually and then if edge selection I'm going to start beveling. I'll bevel this edge pull up roll it nicely and this edge I just have to watch out for that. Just bevel that, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and put a subdivision surface on that as well. With two, and have a look at it and see what we got. Uh, oh, yeah, and smoothing, of course. And we'll um, bring an edge loop up here. Control R and just pull it up like that. And I think I'll put edge loops in this as well. Extra edge loops like that. Not too tight. Okay. And bring it forward. Not the whole thing, just this. I'm not gonna bother making a hinge for it. Mm, I don't know. Seems too small. And it doesn't seem to fit too well on this. Let's hide this for the moment. And let's think about this from top view, whether or not this needs to be extended backwards uh, and how I would do that nicely. <laughs> Wireframe, vertex. I'm thinking about uh, I'll try grabbing everything. Do I want to do everything? Do control. No, that's not what I want to do. Maybe I'm just going to try to grab these ones. Let's have a look from the side. Actually, in solid view, and see how she goes if I extend that like that. Might improve that the uh, the roundness of it for me. A little bit. 
let's bring back yeah I think maybe yeah let's origin of geometry I think that might be something I want to do with the bolt gee do I even want to go further than that I might I just might select this uh, top view edit what am I editing this guy I still got him selected so let's go back to the side and uh, let's just give it a good pull it's still all right I think that's gonna be what I'm gonna go for um, maybe I will put subdivision surface on this as well Looking at a toilet, there it's roughly equal to the width, and this bowl is kind of big, but that's fine. Okay, so let's select this Shift S cursor to selected, and make some kind of a little handle Shift uh, Shift A, bring in a cube, go to edit mode and scale, and bring it out, and we'll scale it again something like that uh, let's do object to geometry origin of geometry sorry and move it over here somewhat okay we're gonna adjust the size of this in a bit okay so let's um, I'm gonna go into edit mode and just make sure it's all selected and go control B and just do a bevel like this all right, and then in face selection, I'm going to select that face. I'm going to go E to extrude and pull it out. And then I'm going to scale like that. And then I'm going to pull it this way a bit. Okay. And then I'm going to come out and I'm going to grab this back face, select that back face, E to extrude and pull it in a little bit like that. Well, maybe I'll scale it too. All right, just gonna go like that, that'll attach. Okay, let's go ahead and add a subdivision surface to that of two. Zoom in and in edit mode, add some edge loops there. Here, and along the top, the back side here, the front side here, and along the sides, going up going down and another one over here I can push one into the wall too let's just have a look and see if that's all that I would need let's hit smoothing that would give me that effect which is what I'm going for not sure where that's supposed to be positioned exactly as if it's big enough Big enough. Let's just globally scale it a little bit. Save. I feel like it needs to be over, but I don't know. Okay, well. Alright, let's come down here. And I think that's too too thick, and I want to put something on this. So let's go into edit mode and just uh, from any side wireframe and vertex. And let's just box select this and pull it up and thin that out. That's fine, like that. And um, let's go into edit mode, <clears throat> and let's just select. Well, that vertex is fine. Shift S cursor to select it, just so I can bring in another object down there in that area. Shift A. Let's bring in a, a circle, 
and scale it down. I'm in an object mode, that's fine. Uh, let's hit the period key to zoom in. Let's just go ahead and start working on it. Edit mode, F to make face, E to extrude, let's bring it up. Um, let's scale it in a little bit like that and uh, come back to object mode. Let's do a rotation and scale on that. Control B, oops, add some segments. That's, a, that's quite a bit there. All right, well, let's push that down and smooth it. Yeah, that could work. Is that the position I want it though? Yeah, that's probably just fine. All right, let's make sure that this is selected and let's see if I can mirror this across. Mirror with respect to this. And I did, I'm gonna hit, just to hit apply, and that's fine. I'm not gonna join anything right now. <clears throat> and that is for the moment, that's that's the toilet there. So, let's um, select it all, but let's, let's click on my other layer as well. Whoa, let's move the toilet over here. Oh, that's not all for the toilet now that I think about it. There is something else I needed to do. Wow. All right. Let's. Uh, I'm just going to scale it in object mode. I'm going to scale it up. And over like that. I'll take this and uh, I'll just scale this in the X. No, we can't do that because I got a hole behind it. Okay. I'll go into edit mode. <clears throat> From front view. That's only one layer thick so I don't have to use wireframe I'm just going to pull that out like that deselect all right let's go back I got my toilet here all right so I'll select that all again let's just bring it over uh, get off just like that I'm just bring it away from the wall a bit this and um, take these guys pull them down here and uh, you know what maybe I'll just uh, I don't know now I'll leave that like that for a moment no, I do need I do need some kind of a floor now to get a sense so um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, here's what I'll do. I'm going to wait paint. I'll, I'm going to select uh, this edge. Shift S cursor to select it. And I'm going to bring in another plane. And I'm going to uh, scale this in the X. Select that edge and just bring it forward. Now, I'm going to pull it up. Yeah, okay. Okay. I mean, I wasn't planning on making a room, but maybe I am making a room, so uh, soon I will, I'll change the uh, the shading. I'll get rid of this craziness, but uh, for now, it's okay. Do that. The other thing I wanted to show you was I was going to select this 
and edit mode and grab this bottom face shift desk cursor to select it come out and I was going to bring in a like a little cylinder bring in a cylinder and move it over to this side I'm gonna take it this side and in edit mode I'm gonna scale it I'll go ahead and move it like that and I don't I know it doesn't really look exactly like this but I thought we could add just for some other details here uh, bring this up a little ways and uh, maybe I'd uh, control our add an edge loop here and expand E uh, S shift Z like that and then Take this and inset and the E and just bring it up. And I, mean, I could get rid of that face. Actually, I'd like to sh keep that face, go sh cursor to select it, and then get rid of that face. So I got my cursor there. I can smooth that. Uh, we can work on, uh, well, maybe we'll work on that right now. Uh, just add an edge loop here, pull it down, and add an edge loop here. That's probably enough do what I want to do okay what I want to do is I want to bring in another plane and uh, control geez tab vertex alt M and merge at center okay so I got one vertex there I'm gonna go E to extrude and I'm gonna pull down a ways I'm gonna do this a little bit blind because I don't know what the heck I'm not seeing the wall or anything and I'm just gonna make this crazy all right um, the extrude and I'm going to pull it over here. Uh, actually, maybe not that far. E to extrude and pull it down some more, and then E to extrude and pull it like like that, like we go into the wall. Okay, and then I'm going to go hit A to to uh, select it all. And then Control B uh, and click. And then I'm going to come over here to to the bevel. I'm going to choose three segments. I think vertex only, and I'm going to pull up the amount like this. Give us some curvature. I could even go for four, like that. Okay, go back into object mode. I think I'll add subdivision surface, and um, if I need to apply, I'm gonna go Alt C uh, curve, and I could have done that here, but full depth. I'm gonna bring up the depth and the resolution and smoothness. How much further do I have to bring up the depth? Let's see. I'm going to pull this up into position and then we'll widen it like that. Okay, so this is what I end up getting. It should be okay. And you know, here I can add subdivision surface if I want to. Okay. So I don't know why, <laughs> some weird kind of plumbing pump. I just want to show you, you can do a pipe that way. Alt C, mesh, and that's fine. Okay, so let's go back to full scene and that would go into the wall. Never seen, but it's a, the weirdest pipe really. Uh, I'm not sure if that dis det detracts from, from everything or not, um, you know, but, uh, but this is what I got so far. I probably would delete that later on, but uh, you know, this is what I got so far. Let's have a quick look at, at rendering it that way. All right, that's not a bad little little scene. Let's save that. Okay, 3D renders. I got my toilet paper, so toilet and paper. One, we'll take a few shots of this. We'll see. Even that, I don't mind if it's cut off a little bit. You know, just to see the uh, the overall effect. Cool. All right. Well, I'll think about what's next, and we'll see you next time.